Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with a video preview of the seven new dyes in our December 2023 release. You can check out all of our dye designs at KarenBerniston.com. Let's start first with a dye that we already offer. This is our tag book pop-up, and this is one of our most popular designs. And it creates a tag-shaped card with a pop-up inside. It is completely generic, so you can decorate that for any theme. And the tag itself has proved very popular with our customers. They like to use that tag for standalone tags. And we've received numerous requests to be able to have that tag as a standalone die. So now we have our topper tags. This is in addition to the size that is perfectly matches the tag book. There are three other sizes in the set, including one that's even bigger. So you can make bigger tag books if you have both sets. It is a standalone set though that just cuts four different size tags. It also has four different style of hole protector and then two edger dies that can be used to make toppers or borders. The design team has been having a lot of fun with the tags. So I thought I would show a few that they've sent me. This set here of these Christmas tags were made by Nikki Foden. And then you've got these big tags that were made by Sandy Diller. And Sandy also made this fun sleigh holder to have some small to from tags that she made with the topper tag set and then just decorated with some of our charm sets. And then here's a cute set of stocking tags by Frances Byrne. Okay, let's talk about our mini gift bag and candy hearts box. So these are going to be adorable little party favors and gift giving bags. The mini gift bag does have the folds to be able to fold up. It will hold a standard size gift card. And of course you can fill that with treats and whatever you want to. There are dies that you can nest inside to be able to make window bags. In addition, one side of the bag is actually on its own die, and that way that gives you the option to use it on its own. So if you were making a card or something and you wanted to have that little gift bag as a flat item, you could do that. So very versatile little set, perfect for those gift-giving occasions and party favors. Now I do have to show this idea by Sue Small Kreider because she figured out how to use one of our pop-up mechanisms to animate that gift bag, and I just thought this was so clever she put a gift card inside hers. I did get permission from Sue to use this idea, this technique in an upcoming class. So I will be definitely exploring that. Another great idea from Sue was this tag shaped card where she used the folded up gift bag inside to hold the gift card. So I thought that was a very cool idea as well. Here's an idea for some fun festive miniature gift bags by Fran Sabad. And then Sandy Diller made personalized place settings using the mini gift bag. Next up is our Candy Hearts box. So this makes an adorable little box that you can fill with trinkets and candy. It comes with all these different phrases that are cut into candy hearts and then even a blank one that you can make your own. You have the option to just assemble it as a solid box and then it will fit, you know, anything that you can fit in there. Great for that. But then you also have the option to explore using some of the included shape dies. There are hearts and squares in the set to be able to cut windows in your box. And then you'll be able to see down inside. So there's just lots of things you can do with it. Obviously candy makes a great little candy box. But it also will fit a standard size gift card. So gift cards will fit right down in that box. You could do a gift card and some candy if you wanted to. Okay, let me show you this cool card by Nikki Foden. Now, before I show you inside, she's also used another new die on the front, which is the shadow that will fit our previously released Happy Valentine's Day. So the shadow is new, Happy Valentine's Day is existing. But look at all those cute candy hearts put on the front of this card. And then inside, she has used our heart collage to make a pop-up. But then I love what she did here with the candy hearts box where she put our miniature BAM box inside the box so that it pops up and it looks like all of those hearts that are on the collage are spilling out. Just so clever. The other box we offer is the slider box and that one will fit our surprise cube, but I did want to just show that you can fit the new candy hearts box inside the slider box. Now I love this set by Sandy Diller. She said she only stopped because she ran out of yellow paper just making those sweet minions into boxes and bags and tags. Oh my, I mean, adorable. Probably about 15 years ago when I was designing steel rule dies for Sizzix, I had a pop-up die called the Raising Platform and it was requested that I bring that one back. So it has been re-engineered. It's now a wafer thin die that includes decorator pieces. 
but it is a little easier to assemble and smoother on the operation. It does include those decorator labels, ovals, some stars, and a swirly do, as well as the decorator pieces that fit the pop-up itself. All right, let's look at some cards by our design team. This one is by Lois. I love how she used that photorealistic pattern paper and then added our little animals to the scene. And then she's got the greeting up on the raising platform. This die set is generic and slimline friendly. So here's another card by Lois. Once upon a time, they lived happily ever after where she's added a double. So you can absolutely add more than one inside the card. Next up is a Get Well Soon card by Nikki Foden. And I just love all of the explosion of flowers that she put around the raising platform. Next up, a card by Suzanne Smith. Happy Valentine's Day with our spring animal bunny on the front. And they're all holding those little candy hearts. And then inside, she put candy hearts all over a large heart and added that to the raising platform. So you can absolutely trade out what you put on top of that platform. It does not have to be the label that comes included. Another Valentine's Day card by Suzanne Smith. This time the animals have cameras. You can see all those photo frames around the card. Great use of the raising platform. And here's a great New Year's card by Sandy Diller. Cheers. Two raising platforms inside. You can see one of them is reversed, so it goes the opposite way. I love this idea by Sue, the largest topper tag used to make a card. She has dangling ornaments coming off of the pop-up and then the racing platform in the center. So great use of those new tags as well. Another popular foundation die that we already offer is our fancy label accordion. So with that die set, you can make accordion cards of any length. The die cuts a page and you just keep adding pages as long as you want your accordion to be. So there's a couple three pagers there. Here's one with snowman on it. That's a four pager. You can just keep going. And it's very generic. It doesn't have any theme. Well, now we have two new add-on sets to fit the fancy label accordion. And they are birthday candles and hearts. So let's take a look at those. Here's the birthday candle one. What this new add-on set is going to do is create the two center pages that have the extra pop-up for the birthday candles. The heart add-ons is the same. It has the center two pages, but this time with that extra layer of pivoting hearts. Here's another one using the birthday candles. I've been making mostly four page accordions with the add-ons because then the add-ons is centered right in the middle, but you absolutely could make these longer, shorter, whatever you want to do. Here's an idea for making a four page accordion where I've just doubled the hearts on both sides. So you can absolutely explore different combinations using these add-ons with the fancy label accordion. Suzanne Smith made a couple of birthday candle accordions. This one is a happy birthday version with some cute little hedgehogs. I love those sparkly candles. And then she used it for a Christmas card and just made all of the candles into Christmas candles. So I thought that was a cute idea as well. The little reindeer peeking out of the stocking right there. Adorable. The birthday candles can be used independent of the pop-up, as you see on this cute birthday tag by Jen Webster. Here's a cute birthday candles accordion by Lois Bach. And Lois also made a heart accordion, Happy Valentine's Day, with some beautiful pattern papers. And then here's a heart accordion by Nikki. I love that bold color scheme. And finishing out with a super sweet heart accordion by Fran Sabad featuring some snowmen. These new dies will be available on our website, karenberniston.com, starting December 11th, 2023. We ship orders to the stores prior to them being available on our website. So those store orders are shipping now. And you might check with some of your favorite local and online retailers about availability. We will be featuring dies from this collection in our January Zoom class and our February virtual class. And you can check our events page on the website for more information. Thanks for watching.